faster. It's about drive. It's about power. We stay hungry. Oh, I'm so hungry. We devour. Go. Carpal tunnel. This feels like it's gonna fall off. Ha! I messed up. Fix it. Correction. Come on. Close it out. Just built a little different. Good morning, everybody. How are we doing today? Welcome. Welcome, welcome to day number 25 of the Hardcore Iron Man journey. Today's an exciting day. We've got a lot to do. I'm going to hopefully get a Crisis Reaper. We get our dailies. I'm hopefully going to be hitting 250 quest points. I think that'd be a, a nice little milestone. We've got a lot of good stuff to do. I have a feeling we might get our first Crippling today. Today's the, the day we actually hit the drop rate for the first time. So uh, yeah, we'll just have to see where the day takes us. But yeah, we're going 68 fishing at the minute, just doing Manifest fishing. I will also probably cook some of these and start using them because I'm burning money. I'm actually hemorrhaging it. I've probably spent like millions and millions of coins on eligators and stuff. As soon as we're done training fishing on my own time, AFK wise, I believe we can train up crafting because we need level 84 to be able to make Crypt Bloom. So uh, yeah, that's the idea. That's the play. Let's get a birth up and get going on our dailies. That is level 57 woodcutting coming in, which I'm actually quite happy about because woodcutting is an insufferable skill. That is level 64 farming coming in. Wait, that's actually a huge level. We don't even have to finish our beehives. I'm literally not even going to finish. Nope. You guys can sit there for the rest of the account. 64 means it is spider time. So after the Croesus hour and reaper that we're going to do, I guess we're going to go murder some spiders. Before we try our luck at the Fungus Casino, also known as Croesus, I need to tell you guys about the sponsor of this video, HelloFresh. I've been using HelloFresh for well over a year now, and that's why I'm so excited to be working with them as a sponsor of the channel. It's a service that I already use and enjoy, and I'm super excited to be able to share what they do with you guys. I've been using HelloFresh to save time and eat healthier. Here's how it works. You choose a plan and select what kinds of meals you're interested in. And just like that, you'll get a set of suggested dishes. If you'd rather make the decision yourself, there are an absolute ton of recipes to choose from each week, and you can pick and choose whatever looks good to you. Pick a weekly delivery date and you'll receive fresh, delicious ingredients for your meals in a refrigerated box at your front door. I also really like that not only are the ingredients available to be viewed and the recipe itself, but you can also see all the nutritional information, which is really awesome if you have any particular diet or fitness goals. For me personally, I've struggled to put on weight, so it's been a really good way to make sure that I'm getting enough fats and enough protein. If anything I talked about sounds interesting to you, HelloFresh wants to offer viewers of this channel up to 20 free meals by using the promo code HelloGuy20. That's promo code HelloGuy20. Thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring the video, and let's get back into it. That is 63 construction I'm throwing, but I'm also 68 Hunter. Wish I wasn't throwing though. That is level 66 in the Slayer skill. Reaper assignment done. Wait, 66? How am I this high in Slayer? Having not actually done any Slayer yet. This game is crazy. Also, that is 64 in the construction skill, which means I can finally do do no evil. Wait, no, I'm getting trapped. This is so sad. Wait. Did I get- I did get hit by that. Okay, whatever. Oh my god, it's mid and I- This is the loot from one hour of Croesus. What, Sponge? What were you thinking? That is a loot explosion! Bro, why play any any of the game that isn't just this? This is our life now. We're gonna- we're gonna save this for another time or off stream. Like, I know I have to do it at some point. It doesn't seem like the kind of thing that I want to do right this second, so... Yeah, anyway. We tried it out, we checked it out, we took a look. And at some point, I will have to go back here and get some spiders. Wait, they changed the quest guide! And now says, note that during this part, you cannot teleport out. Oh so God, now the God. next generation of stupid Iron Man aren't gonna die to the same thing. That is the making history quest complete. A five minute quest for three quest points. So we absolutely take those. And it is now time to do the sequel, which is meeting history, which to my knowledge is like very aggressively annoying. He's so sleepy. That is the meeting history quest complete. Have a huge XP tome. We're gonna do some Ruby XP and some more Ruby XP and oh, some more Ruby XP. Shit. Beautiful. Time for Dishonor Among Thieves. I just really hope I don't die. I just, I gotta be careful. Oh God, it's just happening. Okay. 66 HP. what? Hello! Bro, that was so long! What the frick, dude? Okay, we got this. We got this. We got this. Okay, just use rack. 
Shadow, how do you get Chris Voss? Avoid the darkness. That's fine. Look at the prey flicks! Ricardo would be so freaking proud of me, dude. I think we kill the portal. I think we kill the portal. I think we kill the portal. And then... Little G-Staff! Oh, thank goodness. Okay. And on this day, we did not die to a quest. Which is something that I have not been able to say every day. Remember, like, doing this quest back in the day, and it's like, wow, that's like the most damage I've ever seen. And now it's like, oh yeah, my Fasoa actually does this. But, you know, I guess it's cool. We straight up hit capping. See you later. I would love it if, if you do this and you let Zami touch the stone, it makes the Zami boss fight harder. That's such a sick cutscene. Holy. Imagine that cutscene as a picture. Right? Like, so much less hype. That is the Dishonor Among Thieves quest complete. We're now on 247 quest points. And most importantly, I, I didn't die, which was an actual valid real concern. I got Jared's cape, which doesn't seem immensely helpful. Battle of the Monolith time? No, I'm skipping it. I think. Should I? We could do Death of Chivalry. It's a good quest? All right, let's do that then. I still will probably do Battle of the Monolith. I just don't want to do it right this second, you know? Sorry, just a minor, a minor debuff. Prayer, eulogy, or loot his corpse. Guys, this is bad. This is not good. This is not a tall or manly behavior. Okay, fine. Leave him in peace? Nope. I feel so bad. And there we go. Death of chivalry quest complete. So this is a tier three. So we could get a die from this, but ideally it's just a million coins and a fortunate. Uh, yeah. A million coins, a fortunate. I'm good with that. Should we just do it? Let's do it. This, uh, and I mean no disrespect to the people that worked very hard on it, I'm sure, is truly the worst piece of content in the game. Wait, can I access the bank? Can I go to the bank and skill? We're just gonna... <laughs> when the mini quest plays itself. What a riveting piece of content. What a great battle. That is... <laughs> should I just, do I even have to look? I guess I don't. What skilling should we do? I'll change crafting. That is level 63 crafting in the middle of this riveting battle. Do it like this. Now, oh, wait, they teleported me. Oh, cause we finished the battle. Let's go. It didn't even interrupt my crafting. My crafting isn't gonna train itself and this monolith battle is gonna win itself. So, you know, that is level 64 in the crafting skill coming in. I wonder how the battle's going. That is level 65 crafting. And we are still in the battle of the monolith. The battle rages on behind me. You can see how we're back there doing some damage or something. <laughs> so there's a pool table, right? And then you see the foosball table there. And then there's a big couchy area over this way. And then that's where the piano is, sort of right where my cursor is. And that's just a big wide open area. All of the shoots from this day, just know that I was trying my best. I was on no sleep and I felt physically ill. Uh oh, we're dying. Wait, I gotta get involved. Oh my. Go, 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 go! Wait! My time to shine! Tell me it's not just one mob that's stuck. Wait, no. No! Quickly! Get there! Hey, look, I helped! You're welcome for saving the day. I'm gonna go back to crafting. And that is the Battle of the Monolith complete. And what I mean by that is three crafted levels. Easily one of the worst pieces of content ever released in the game. That is, you are it. Quest complete. Oh, do I actually have to do the puzzle box? Oh, I hate it here. Go, go, go faster. It's about drive. It's about power. We stay hungry. Oh, I'm so hungry. We devour. Go, go, go. Carpal tunnel. This feels like it's gonna fall off. Ha! I messed up. Fix it. Correction. Come on. Close it out. Just built a little different. Hey, look, I got 92K. All right, what's the next quest? 
Needle skips. Isn't that a long quest? No, it's a short quest! That is the needle skips. Quest complete. We are not going to do full completion, I don't think. It would be nice. It's like 10k or black, or XP. It's not the end of the world. I will happily take my quest point. And the next quest on our list is actually Desperate Times. Do I really have the Rex for this? I think I do. Let's do it. Okay, let's go. Bro, I'm here again! Okay, that is the Desperate Times quest complete. That was a brutal quest. The length of that quest was just very, very crazy. But I will take level 60 of the Herblore. I can now make Super Restores, which is very cool. And more importantly, I don't have to do that quest again. So uh, yeah, we take those. A couple updates. Off stream, I have been training fishing. I am now, I'm not level 68, which I need for the fishing guild, but I am 65, which is one of the recs for uh, the next penguin quest that we hadn't done this far. We are checking in on 1687 total level, 113 combat, and I think today might be another questing day. Okay, that is daily challenges done. Wait, that's actually nuts. 58 dungeoneering, having never trained dungeoneering, and we are also level 56 runecrafting. We will absolutely take those. On to Nemi Forest. That is level 60 in the prayer skill coming in. Absolutely massive. We can finally put on chivalry, which is not terribly helpful for anything. It is time to do something called fun fact. It's not really a fun fact, but it is a fact. Um, I've actually never done this quest on any account ever at any point. I just, I saw the long to very long and I said, no, thank you. So uh, this is going to be a, a brand new, authentic, fresh account Let's Play from us. What is going on? Okay, at least it didn't take that long, but that was easily the worst quest I've ever done in my life. Holy moly. I genuinely literally have a headache from that quest. That was so bad. Wait, 40 key crafting? Okay, wait, I take it back. The, it was worth it rewarding wise, but a holy moly. That is 66 fishing, 66 crafting. We have one more penguin quest. I think we should just do it. I think we're just going to do it, honestly. It seems like the right thing to do. So let's get geared and let's get started. It's time for back to the freezer. Check answer. Okay, so there's no green. There's one red. So it's two, okay, so it's one red, two yellow, and one blue. Red, yellow, yellow, blue. Oh, gaming. So we're done. So now how do I, how do I lock it in? Oh no, those are all wrong now. Yellow has to be either first or last. Yeah, it does. So then we'll do yellow, red, blue, yellow. Oh no, it's first and last, check answer. Okay, I did it. Yay, let's go! Okay, I do think it's weird that it's reversed. White to me is better than gray, you know? But whatever, good enough. Alrighty, that is back to the freezer quest complete. Let's freaking go, dude. Wow, only one level? 57 recrafting, a big one, an important one. Most importantly, we're now done the penguin quest line, which I actually think is fairly significant. I think it's huge. So we can go back here. I have not done that. I've not done that. I've not done that. But I have done those two quests. We're getting closer and closer to full completion of the entire first section of the progression guide. Okay, I shouldn't really need to clarify this, but you know, just in case, I want to mention this is this is my cat. This is not a cat that I that I found in a HelloFresh box. Uh, my cat just really likes playing in the boxes. With that said, if you do want to check out HelloFresh, you can do so by following the link in the description down below. And don't forget to use the promo code HelloGuy20 to get up to 20 free meals because nothing tastes better than free. All right, that's the end of the video. Take care, everyone.